jump right back in. We're going to ease into this storm, too. A uh, big one uh, to the west of us. Going to bring a lot of snow uh, across portions of uh, Minnesota. North and South Dakota for us, uh, we're going to see mainly rainfall. But yeah, look at the winter storm warnings in effect for a good chunk of the northern plains in northern Wisconsin, the winter weather advisory. So if you got travel plans or maybe some of your relatives still up north uh, starting tonight and into tomorrow, they're going to see anywhere from three to six inches of snow across northern Wisconsin. Current visibility, we had the fog very light this morning. Uh, you can see the fog uh, still very light across the area. It's more of a haze now. We're getting the sun filtering through and you'll just notice it when you step outside visibility at five miles in Racine and uh, Kenosha and Milwaukee. So again, not much of an issue. You'll just kind of notice it. You see here, this is a live look in Port Washington where we have a mainly clear sky. Soon the clouds are going to fill in a little bit more and Right now, temperatures are warm. 36 degrees right now in Port Washington. Winds out of the east northeast at six miles per hour in Milwaukee. We're at 39 degrees. So yeah, a warm day for the end of December standards here. Northeast wind at eight miles per hour. As we look across southeastern Wisconsin, even a few spots south of Milwaukee now hitting 40 degrees. We're at 41 in Union Grove, 42 degrees in Kenosha. Work our way a little farther northwest. More 30s popping up here, 36 in West Bend and 33 degrees of the current temperature in Fond du Lac. So let's go through your weather headlines here. We do have a big storm system on the way, but we're going to be on the warm side of this storm. So it's looking like rain for us here in southeastern Wisconsin. The winds are also going to start to ramp up tonight and into tomorrow. All right, where's the storm right now? As we widen the view, you can see all of the snow now across North Dakota, South Dakota, rain down through Kansas. And as we track it here on future forecasts, let's head into the afternoon and evening. This is 6 p.m. We're still dry here in southeastern Wisconsin. I would say a very slight chance of a shower popping up uh, before midnight. This is 1230. Notice the bulk of the action still way to the west of us, but during the early morning hours tomorrow, we'll look for a band of rain to move in snow flying across northeastern Wisconsin. Periods of rain through the day on Thursday and still some scattered showers to go as we head into Thursday night and Friday and then eventually on the back side of the system, we could see a few of those snow showers fill in here in southeastern Wisconsin, but no accumulation expected. How much rain are we talking about? Computer models have been indicating uh, up to a half inch of rain at least uh, for the locations in the blue here, uh, possibly some locally higher amounts. We'll have to see if we get any ponding of water uh, dealing with that frozen ground. All right, 42 degrees for your high today, mostly cloudy and mild for tonight. A low temperature of 36 degrees, staying above freezing tonight. So just rain here in Milwaukee. Now northwest of Milwaukee, we might get a little sleet or even some freezing drizzle mixing in. Here's your seven day forecast on Thursday. Rain 45 degrees for your high 43 on Friday. Again, maybe a few of those rain showers change the snow showers late in the day as temperatures fall back into the 30s. 28 on Saturday, cooler 34 on Sunday, and then we bring in the new year. New Year's Eve 35 degrees, a few flurries and then a few more flurries possible on the first of the year as we dip back to 22 only for a high to start 2019. Vincent Elise.